ever wondered what zero gravity feels like? Imagine floating weightlessly free from the pressure of gravity's pull. Now think about how often we feel weighed down by stress, almost as if we're being pulled into the ground by our worries and anxieties. Today, we're going to explore 14 stoic practices that can help you reduce stress and feel lighter, almost like you're floating in zero gravity. But before we dive in, make sure to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and hit the notification bell, so you never miss out on our latest content. And don't forget to share your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. Let's get started. Let's start with the first practice, negative visualization. This might sound counterintuitive, but it's a powerful tool. Negative visualization involves imagining the worst possible scenarios that could happen. By doing this you prepare yourself mentally and emotionally for any outcome. For example if you're worried about a job interview, visualize not getting the job. This helps you to appreciate what you have now. This helps you to appreciate what you have now, and reduces the fear of the unknown. The idea is not to dwell on negativity but to become resilient to it. Next, we have the dichotomy of control. This principle teaches us to focus only on what we can control and to let go of what we cannot. For instance, you can control your effort and preparation for a project, but you can't control the outcome or other people's opinions. By directing your energy towards what you can influence, you reduce unnecessary stress and anxiety about things beyond your control. The third practice is practicing mindfulness. Being present in the moment can significantly reduce stress. When you're mindful, you focus on the here and now, rather than worrying about the future or dwelling on the past. For example, when eating a meal, take the time to savor each bite, noticing the flavors and textures. This simple act of mindfulness can ground you and bring a sense of peace. Next is the art of journaling. Writing down your thoughts and feelings can be a therapeutic exercise. It allows you to process your emotions and gain clarity on your concerns. For example, if you're feeling overwhelmed by a looming deadline, jot down your thoughts, break down your thoughts, Break down the task into smaller manageable steps, and create a plan. This helps to organize your mind and reduce stress. The fifth practice is voluntary discomfort. This involves deliberately putting yourself in uncomfortable situations to build resilience. For example, taking a cold shower can teach you to endure and embrace discomfort. By regularly facing challenging situations, you become better equipped to handle stress when it arises. Next. We have the concept of Amor Fati, which means love of fate. This practice encourages you to embrace everything that happens in your life, both good and bad. For instance, if you face a setback at work, instead of resisting it, see it as an opportunity for growth and learning. By accepting and loving your fate, you reduce resistance and stress. The seventh practice is Memento Mori, which translates to remember you will die. This might sound morbid but it's a reminder of the impermanence of life. By keeping mortality in mind, you can appreciate each moment and focus on what truly matters. For example, if you're stressed about a minor inconvenience, remembering that life is short can put things into perspective and reduce stress. Next is practicing gratitude. Regularly acknowledging what you're thankful for can shift your focus from what's going wrong to what's going wrong to what's going right. For example, at the end of each day, write down three things you're grateful for. This simple practice can foster a positive mindset and reduce stress. The ninth practice is setting clear goals. Having specific achievable goals gives you direction and purpose. For example, instead of saying I want to be healthier, set a clear goal like, I will exercise for 30 minutes, three times a week. Clear goals help you to stay focused and reduce the stress of uncertainty. Next. We have the practice of being virtuous. Stoicism teaches that living a life of virtue is the path to true happiness. This means acting with wisdom, courage, justice and temperance. For example, if you're faced with a moral dilemma, choose the option that aligns with these virtues. Living virtuously reduces internal conflict and stress. The eleventh practice is seeking solitude. Taking time away from the busyness of life can help you to recharge and gain perspective. For example, Spend some time alone in nature, away from digital distractions. Solitude can provide clarity and reduce stress. 
Next is the practice of forgiveness. Holding on to grudges and resentment can be a significant source of stress. For example, if you've been wronged by someone, practicing forgiveness can free you from negative emotions and bring peace. Remember, forgiveness is more about your well-being than the other person's. The thirteenth practice is maintaining perspective. When you're stressed, it's easy to blow things out of proportion. For example, if you're worried about a presentation, remind yourself that it's just one moment in your life and that you faced challenges before and succeeded. Keeping a broader perspective can help to reduce stress. Finally, we have the practice of continuous learning. Stoicism values lifelong learning and self-improvement. For example, reading books, taking courses, or learning new skills can give you a sense of progress and purpose. Continuous learning keeps your mind active and reduces the stress associated with stagnation. These 14 Stoic practices offer a comprehensive approach to reducing stress and improving your overall well. Berling, by incorporating negative visualization, the dichotomy of control, mindfulness, journaling, voluntary discomfort, amor fati, memento mori, gratitude, setting clear goals, being virtuous, seeking solitude, forgiveness, maintaining perspective, and continuous learning into your daily life, you can create a more resilient and peaceful mindset. Remember, the goal isn't to eliminate stress entirely. As some stress is a natural part of life, instead, these practices help you manage and reduce stress, enabling you to navigate life's challenges with greater ease and grace. So which of these stoic practices will you start implementing today? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, be sure to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and hit the notification bell for more insightful content. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.